हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एफ बिजनेस वन ट्यूटोरियल माई सेल्फ दिव्यश पंचल एंड वी आर करेंटली लर्निंग हाउ टू मेक अ सिंपल एस एफ बिजनेस वन एड ऑन दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ कॉम्बो बॉक्स सो इन अ फर्स्ट पार्ट इन द कॉम्बो बॉक्स वी हैव सीन हाउ टू फिल अ कॉम्बो बॉक्स यूजिंग यू डी एज वेल एज सिस्टम टैबल्स सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म सम इवेंट्स और टास्क वेन ओवर वी आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट अ सिंगल वैल्यू फ्रॉम combo box so let me explain just run the project so just see what i have done here whenever i select any value from the combo box you can see here the name whatever which value is selected so description will be written here so let's see co costume so here yeah, co costume so whenever you choose any value from this comma box i have performed one task to write that description in status bar so in the same way we are going to perform other task let's see how i have done that so here it is a new form already i have i made this so this one combo box is here and this is one tax box now we are going to direct the put some values into combo box right right 22 which will be the object of po which will be your purchase order Seventeen. It's the SO for sales order. So this is the object type value, and this is the type. It is a purchase order, in which object type is twenty two, and this is sale order. Object type is seventeen. I have what I have done. I am entering the values directly using GUI. You can also uh, also add this value, as I shown in a first video of Combox Part One. So the values are entered. this now see i am going to generate one event which will be cmb doc type combo box selected after event has been generated what we are going first of all we are performing any task so i want to just select a description and display it in task bar as i have done previously so let's go it will be a program dot application dot set status bar so here what we are going to write will be a string text so this will be a cmb dot selected i can write any of this value dot string you can also write here description let's go with description comma how much time it will be shown for a long time medium time short go with the short is this error no this is not a error so we are going to here right false so let's run what will we run this is form 2 this is the values we have already entered directly so whenever i will select here po this po will be written in a status box status bar okay so so cell sorted will be a so now what we are going we are going to specify the choose from list object which we have already uh, seen into the choose from list uh, video tutorial okay so whenever i will select here po 
the choose from list object will be a 22 and the detail will be open from the choose from list so let's start this will be a in combo box select after in a same uh, same method so switch case will use switch case switch what on which we are going to perform selected selected value dot to string we are going over perform our task on this whenever the case is 22 what we are going well, 17 so actually we have to learn how to set a combo box dynamically so sorry choose from list dynamically before going to set a dynamically choose from list let's see how we have choosed in a manual manner so just select the text box and go here it is a choose from list id uid so then we will choose here a unique id of uh, choose from list okay and in lelia's name whatever field we are going to fill into the text box we will select or write here so in the same way we will go with a dynamic way so whenever the combo box will be selected and uh, value will be selected here we will perform some tasks in which we have written uh, we will set the dynamic object type uh, for this so let's start we'll here it will be a property of text box which property this choose from list uid how i can get this this is already written here whenever i will select it is there choose from list uid we have to set these two things choose from list uid as well as choose from list lr and put it true so here choose from list uid this uid will be the cfl uid so we have to write it here directly cfl 22 will be the object of opor which is a purchase order and then after we are going to set its alias alias will be the document entry it will be a primary key of a popor which is a purchase order so in the same way just copy paste it opor we have ortr here the same document entry is here so what we have done we have just give the values dynamically of both of this we can also we have generally we have done in first of uh, choose from list manually from here so currently we are going to dynamically on selection of combo box and let's run it what have So this is this whenever I will select here just see what I am showing yeah show it is a purchase order so the vendor is here and these are the purchase orders how I know this is the purchase orders this the name is vendor whenever I will select sell order it will become a customers so this will be a customers name and whenever I select here to this will be a vendors name so what we have seen we have just set the uh, properties of tax box dynamically whenever we choose our selection of combo box and what we have seen if we want to see the PO here we have to just things just put description true so it will show whenever we select it will show the description name
so it will be a PO before 22. So this is the two multiple events we have done. Whenever I select here PO, you can also see here status the so then sales order and this choose from list. So if you like this videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.